so if you clicked on this video, that means that you're probably going to a Ren fair very, very soon. And you don't want to spend around a thousand dollars on a really cool outfit. In this video, I'm going to be talking about different tips and tricks and things to look for when you go thrifting for a Ren fair outfit as you should, because I promise you it's a lot easier to thrift a Ren fair outfit than you might think it is. I did already make a video where I put together a bunch of different Ren fair looks from normal clothes, nothing like this, more normal. We're talking basic t-shirts, button ups, blue jeans. When I say normal, I actually mean normal. I don't mean costume pieces. If you want to check out that video, you can. I'll put the card here and down below in the description box, but I recommend watching this video first maybe and then watch that video on how to put the outfit actually you know watch it in whatever order either way it will be helpful also i just want to say a huge shout out to my friend kiki i'm wearing pretty much all of her clothes right now except the skirt because we're going to a Ren Faire this weekend in Colorado. And that's why I felt this video was appropriate because I actually went thrifting for some pieces to wear to that Ren Faire. Let's just get right into the tips and tricks. Why don't we? Welcome to my cozy corner. The first thing we are going to talk about is the materials you need to look for, materials, patterns, that sort of thing. Because everything I'm going to mention when it comes to tops, bottoms, jackets, if you look for them in that material, it's going to be a lot easier to thrift and find, and I think that's very important. So there are eight main materials I think you should look out for when you are thrifting. It's not exclusively just these materials, but I find that these are the ones that make most sense and work really, really well when making a Ren Faire outfit. So the first one is anything that's lace. The second one is paisley or any sort of floral print. Next is mesh. This would be like a polyester material, something that is see-through. Number four is velvet. Number five is linen. Number six is leather. Number seven is fur. And number eight is crochet. Now let's start with tops. So for tops, you're going to want to look for a variety. And I really don't look for a specific style, especially when I'm at the bins because it's so hard to find a specific style. It's way easier to just look for one of the materials that I mentioned and then grab those and see if it fits your needs. And most likely it will. You just have to be a little bit creative with it and you can make it work. The next thing we're going to talk about is color. I think the color is entirely up to you. Ren Fair outfits consist of many different colors. Obviously, you're probably not going to be going with something that's neon, you know, bright pink, neon yellow, um, neon orange. But then again, if you're doing a fairy look, those colors could work. It just really depends like what you're going for. But I would say the easiest way is to stick to neutrals. The most important thing I think is that if you do find something in one color that you get some other colors to complement that so it just you know matches that goes without saying now that you know the colors to look out for and the materials you are going to go to the thrift store and you're going to look for those specific colors and materials i would say ignore the colors first and look for just the materials because it's just way easier and the materials are so important in my opinion, more than the colors. When I went thrifting, I found a lot of different paisley prints, lots of different floral prints and stuff like that works. So regardless of what the item happens to be, you can make it work in some way and it's a lot easier than you think it is. So if you see something that's paisley, you know, just pick it up, look at it and say, does this work for my needs? If you see something that's lace, if you see something that's crochet, does this work? Could I make this work? Could I make this into something cool to wear? So just get really, really creative with it. When it comes to tops, you're going to want to look out for your basic blouse, a button up a blouse. I would go with a fitted one. You could do a fitted button up blouse. This could be worn many different ways, unbuttoned or buttoned, depending on what you're going for. And if you're wanting to be a pirate, or something of that sort, you could also look for a very oversized button up. Another shirt I would look out for is a puff sleeve. Any sort of puff sleeve top works so well with this aesthetic, especially if you do own a corset. The next one is a tube top. I think you can actually do a lot with a tube top. These are very underrated. You can get really creative with a tube top by even wearing it like a belt or even a corset, a corset type top. 
or wearing it by itself with a crochet cover-up, a lace cover-up. There's so many different options that you can do if you find one. Another shirt to look out for is a tank top, a very tight ribbed tank, or it doesn't have to be ribbed, it could just be a tank top. And this would be for the purpose of layering on top of a blouse. If you just wanted an extra layer, if you want it to look like a corset in a way, it's a really good layering piece, even though it's just a normal tank top, I think it works. Next are vests, and I think these are relatively easy to find more in the men's section than the women's section. And you can also alter these very easily. And if you don't want to alter, I recommend checking out the boys section because that's where I got mine and it fits me perfectly. Next thing to look out for is a shawl. And I found a lot of these at the bins. They were very pretty. And I like them a lot because you can also wear them on your head. You can wear them as a skirt layer. You could also wear them over your shoulders. And lastly, if you can't find a corset while thrifting, get it. I don't care what the color is. If it fits you, just get it. <laughs> now moving on to skirts. For skirts, I recommend getting a circle skirt. It can be any length. Okay, it doesn't have to be super long. It doesn't have to be a specific length, okay? So whatever you can find works because you can get multiple in different lengths and different colors and you can pin them, safety pin them to look like it's a tiered skirt. As long as the skirt is flowy and you can spin in it, then you are on the right track. You don't want a pencil skirt. That's not what we're going for here. And speaking of tiered skirts, the next thing you can look out for is a tiered skirt. If you don't wanna buy multiple skirts and layer them. I personally have had a very hard time finding a tiered skirt, so I just prefer to layer mine because it's easier. The next one to look out for is a high-low skirt. This is one of those skirts that is high in the front, low in the back. It looks really great as a layering piece. The next one is a split maxi skirt that is long and has two slits over each leg. And this is really great for a lady night outfit, a Vikings outfit, a barbarian outfit. I mean, the list can go on and on. And you could even just get a maxi skirt and cut it. You don't have to find one that's specifically cut like that. So it's just a, it's an easy item to find and it also works for the Ren Faire. The next items to talk about are pants. So the first and easiest thing to look out for are just basic blue jeans in these specific colors. So you're not going to be wearing a normal blue jean. You're going to be wearing a jean in black, green, khaki, brown, or even leather. You can get them fitted, you can get them oversized. I mean, it's totally up to you and what's more comfortable for you, but even if it's oversized, you could make that work for a pirate look. And if they're tight, you could also make that work for a pirate look or a ranger look. Options are endless. Next are dress pants. Dress pants are really good for pirate looks as well, especially if they're a little bit oversized. You can tuck them into your boots, let that extra fabric hang over your boots. It looks really, really nice. And it's really good for other looks too. Any of these color jeans can go with many different looks and it's a jean that will get use in your normal day-to-day -day life. And I think everyone owns at least one pair of black jeans, so you may not even need to go out and buy something. Another pant you can look out for are cargo pants, the ones that have the pockets, I think either in black, khaki, green, would look great for a ranger look. There's probably other looks as well, but that's the only one I can think of at this time. And with that, joggers. Joggers are so easy to find and they're extremely comfortable. Normally they are made out of a sweatpant material. Sometimes it's a nicer material than that, but they're really good because they are tight fitted at the bottom of your ankle and a little bigger in the legs, which looks really, really good when it comes to like period pieces. You would always see that type of fit trouser. The fact that a jogger almost resembles that, except it's obviously not the same thing, is really cool. And you can get something like that at Target even if you can't thrift it. But I know for sure they have so many of those at the thrift store. Next, you can also look for leggings. Leggings are really good in black, khaki, brown, green. And I would also recommend trying to find something that has a really cool Celtic print on it or something that would look really unique under a layer if you were wearing something that was high-low or you wanted it to maybe look like armor, then look for something that could resemble that vibe. For dresses, I think the easiest dress to look for that goes with most outfits would be a plain white dress like this. And I would recommend getting a tank top 
because then you can put a blouse on top of it to make it look a bit different. But if you happen to find a dress that has cool sleeves, like this one, then by all means, you know, get that one. But another simple dress that you can find literally anywhere right now are these floral dresses. And this is a really good start to a Ren Faire look. And don't be afraid to look for dresses in color like this. And also dresses in lace, full lace, are such a good item to find. If you can find one, I've been looking for almost a year and I haven't found one yet. You can also look for nightgowns in the pajama section at the thrift store. Pay attention to extra details such as sleeves. If you opt for using a dress as your base layer, you want the sleeves to look cool. Next are jackets. So the first jacket I can think of that comes to mind is definitely a cardigan. They're a good layering piece, especially with like peasant looks or winch looks. And that moves me on to the next piece, which is a cover up. Think a bathing suit cover up almost because I feel like those are normally very long and they go to your feet. They're very flowy and that as a piece on your Renaissance Fair look would look amazing. So definitely look for bathing suit cover ups, look for cover-ups even in the lingerie section, and look for those cover-ups. They're almost like a cardigan except longer and they are cut in many different angles at the bottom. They vary in lengths, but those look so pretty and they flow really nicely and they're really good for the Renaissance Fair. Next is a military jacket. This would be a, I mean, great addition to anyone's wardrobe. Don't get me started. I freaking love these jackets. I don't own one yet, but I want one. And this would be good for a pirate look. Like, it would be so good. And I'm sure other looks as well. Next is a trench coat, a pea coat, a leather jacket, pleather jacket that you can maybe cut into a vest for some type of armor look or just a vest for a Vikings look, a barbarian look. I mean, there's many things you can do with it. A cape, if you can find one. I got lucky and I found one thrifting. And if you are wanting a cloak, highly recommend that you look for some blankets, bed sheets, curtains, because it is so easy to DIY a cloak. You don't need to go and purchase one for like $200 because it's so easy to make on your own. You could just safety pin it if you wanted to and make it work. And it's way cheaper to do it that way. <laughs> Next are shoes. The first and easiest one is combat boots. Any sort of lace up boot will do, but combat boots are very easy to find at the thrift store. The next shoe I would look out for is a knee high boot, a thigh high boot. You can also look for some ankle booties. You could go for some Mary Janes, some strappy sandals like gladiators or just sandals that are strappy. And you could even go with ballet flats. I've seen that too. Lastly, we are talking about accessories. The accessories I'm going to list are mostly accessories that you can find at the thrift store, but I did put down some items that you might be able to find and some that you definitely will be able to find. So the first thing is scarves. Scarves can be worn many different ways at the Ren Fair. You can wear them around your head. You can wear them around your waist. You can wear them as a sash over your shoulder. You could just wear them as a scarf over your shoulders too. So many different things that you can do. The next one is gloves and you can look for leather gloves. You can also just go buy normal knitted gloves and cut off the fingers. I'll put some examples on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about, but there are many different creative ways that you can cut up gloves to make them go with your outfit and look super, super cool. The next thing you can look for is an apron and when I say apron, I don't mean wear a full apron unless it's, you know, cute and maybe lace. But when I say apron, I mean one of these. So my friend actually made this and this is, I don't know what you would call this, a half apron. I'm just going to call it that. And you wear it on the lower half of your body. And this is a really great layering piece, especially if you are going to a Ren Faire and it's super hot and you don't want to wear an extra dress on top. You could just add this to your skirt and it still gives the appearance of a full layer, but you don't actually have it. The next item would be some knee-high socks or tall socks. I don't think they sell stuff like that at the thrift store. I just wanted to put it on the list because you're gonna have to wear socks, right? And I think that having socks that are cool adds a lot to your outfit. And I wanted to show you an example of a pair I have that I was wearing with my outfit earlier today. And it has this really cool pattern going through it. And you can see it on my leg when I wear it. And it just adds something 
to the look, you know? And that's why I mentioned earlier, if you're getting leggings, to maybe consider getting something that has a, a neat print that goes with the way you're dressing. You can also look for some ribbon, you know, just normal ribbon. Uh, again, not something you're gonna find at the thrift store, but you can get stuff like this at a 99 cent store. And these are really good for adding to your hair, adding to your wrists, adding to your gloves. You can add it to your belt just to have things happening uh, to your outfit on your outfit. I, yeah. <laughs> you can also look for a bandana. <laughs> Gosh, half the stuff I'm saying, this is it's not really stuff you're gonna find at the thrift store. Anyways, a bandana, the ones that go on your head that are white, that look very cottage core, that's what I'm talking about. The next thing you can look out for is a satchel and you don't have to get specifically a satchel. You could just get a little tiny purse like this that you can attach to your belt by running your belt through it and letting it hang off so you have something going on around your waist when you're wearing those cool skirts. Or a change purse, like this one. And you would attach it to your belt with a carabiner, I think that's what it's called, by just clipping it so you can hold your phone, money, you know, stuff like that. And I didn't come up with that. <laughs> Kiki totally told me about that and I was like, that makes so much sense. The next thing to look out for are harnesses, belts, and arm cuffs. If you can find good belts, you might not even need arm cuffs because you can always cut the belts and use them or just wrap the belts multiple times to look like armor. And if you are looking for belts, I recommend going for something that's in black or brown and making sure you have lots of length to mess around with so you can wrap it different ways and yeah, get a very, very long belt. Any sort of harness, if you can manage to find one, definitely can add a lot to a look and it's a pretty niche item to find. I don't know if you would be able to find that. I don't know what kind of thrift stores you have near you. So I'm just throwing out lots of options. The next thing you can look out for is a bow and arrow, a foam sword, some sort of armor. It could be fake armor. If it's around Halloween, you could find this stuff potentially along with some tiny little glass bottles that you could use as potion bottles to attach to your belt. If you want to do a DIY, it's a really good one. You can also look for a leather garter belt or just a garter belt in general, maybe something that's elastic. A tankard like this. I did not get mine from the thrift store, but Kiki got hers from the thrift store and she found a lot of them. So you can definitely find them. And the last one would just be jewelry, if you can find jewelry. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I know a lot of the accessories I just mentioned, you're just not able to find them at the thrift store, but I wanted to put them on the list just so you can kind of write down the different ideas that stand out to you and be like, oh, I can look for this, this, and this. Now I'm going to take you to the thrift store with me where I used all of these tips in finding the items for the Ren Fair I'm going to. The first thing I do is I look for the materials and patterns I mentioned in the beginning of the video. As you can tell, you can easily spot, even in these giant piles of clothes, what has a pattern and what has a certain material. So it's a lot easier when picking through items. Now I am at the bins, so it's a lot more chaotic than going to an organized thrift store. So this is probably the hardest place to find stuff and I managed to very easily. I found a lot of paisley print, floral print items, along with blouses like this that still have that floral design, which would be a really good base layer, and something a little more simple like this that kind of reminded me of Bellatrix, and another print that is interesting and it fits with the Ren Faire theme. Another item you can look out for are pieces that have some sort of beading like this one right here. It could be on a skirt as well. It would look super cool to have extra texture to your outfit. Also something like this, which is for a table, you could make into a bandana. And this would be really cool for a Viking's outfit. After sifting through the bins, here are the pieces I found that fit the theme best. So this is a size large shirt, but it's great because it can go off shoulder, on shoulder, and it goes underneath a corset. Same with this one right here, and I loved it because it was very colorful. This is just a basic white blouse, but it looks a bit vintage because of this design. This type of design I see at the thrift store all the time on different clothes. And what's funny is they sell these items at the Renaissance Fair and other festivals as well. So if you ever see one, just pick it up. 
This is the beaded shirt I showed you earlier, but I just wanted to show a better view. I loved the color of this one, but mostly I loved the cut at the bottom of this. It reminded me of a gypsy type look. So my friend found this piece and she thought it would look really cool layered on top of that purple shirt to kind of mimic armor. This is a really good layering piece, lace underneath a corset or, you know, underneath a vest. Here's some fur that's from a jacket that you could easily put around your neck to mimic a Vikings type look or just add something extra to any outfit you wear. Here is a vest that I ended up getting that I'm going to cut and it's going to go with my Vikings outfit. Here is another vest I found that was real leather and it was beautiful. Um, I didn't end up getting it, but the cut at the bottom is so perfect for the Ren Faire and looking like a barbarian or a Viking. This really pretty lace cover up, this would be perfect for putting on your head, your shoulders, around your waist. Here is a crochet knit top, which has these open sides. I thought this was a really cool piece. I found this beautiful knit shawl in black, which would be great for going over your shoulders. You could even put it on your head or around your waist. This is a little cardigan cover up and I loved the detail on the wrists because it reminded me of a knight. Here's another cover up that is a crochet knit and super cute detail for an outfit. Here are some thigh high boots that are perfect for any Ren Faire look. I also found these beautiful brown leather boots, but unfortunately they did not fit me. Here are some Christmas stockings that I found and it reminded me of Hermione's bag from Harry Potter. I thought it could easily be made into a purse that you could wear to the Ren Faire. Here are some accessories that you could tie around your waist, such as this tiny little scarf or headband maybe, I'm not really sure what this is used for, and even a tie with a paisley print would work really well as a belt. Well anyways, I hope that this video helped you when it comes to thrifting for the Ren Faire and it gave you some new ideas of what to look for and I tried my best to come up with everything I could think of and I used all of these tips and tricks myself and I found a lot of really good things so hopefully it helped you too. I hope you have a marvelous time at the next Ren Faire that you attend and hopefully I'll see you there. Goodbye my friends, goodbye.